Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm reading Training in Trauma, Chapter 4. Ah! I, I actually, I actually updated chat. Guys, I actually updated it. I actually updated it. Um. I really love this chapter. I'm sorry. I'm gonna die. It's so good. I also meant to podfic this, like, two days ago, but then I was watching Miraculous Ladybug London special. And I kind of forgot to podfic. So, I'm gonna podfic now. Sorry, guys. So, this is chapter four of Training in Trauma. Such a great mix. Um, yeah. I'm gonna shut up now. Chapter four. Oh, no. Really? When Izuku had stopped crying, he and Hizashi decided to finish moving in the rest of the boxes. After all the boxes were inside, they started to unpack. They had been unpacking for only a few minutes when Toshi and Eraserhead came back. Izuku immediately walked over to Toshi and hugged him. Toshi was a little bit surprised, but he rolled with it and hugged Izuku back. You okay? Toshi whispered. Izuku nodded into his neck where he had his face buried. Okay. You okay, kid? Eraserhead asked, looking over at him and Toshi from where he was next to Hizashi. Which one of us? Toshi finally asked after a few seconds of silence. Oh, right. Well, I was talking to Izuku, but I mean, I don't know if you're okay either, so... Yeah, Eraserhead said, shrugging. I'm okay, Izuku said, not moving his head from its resting place. Hey, I just remembered something, Toshi said, looking at the green puff of curls on his shoulder. You're supposed to be resting... Izuku froze. Ah, shit. Izuku lifted his head and gave Toshi an innocent smile. Izuku, Toshi said, giving him a deadpan look. You need to rest. You're hurt. You're a hypocrite, Izuku said, crossing his arms as he looked at Toshi. How am I a cri- How am I a hypocrite? How am I a hypocrite? Toshi asked. You're hurt, too, Izuku huffed. When did I get hurt? Toshi asked, genuinely confused. Gotcha, Izuku smirked. When you fell for me, Izuku said before leaping away over the couch in Hizashi and Eraserhead's apartment. Hizashi was howling with laughter. Toshi was running after Izuku. Eraserhead was calling, don't break anything if you can't pay for it. After Toshi chased Izuku for a few minutes, he turned the tables and ran at Hitoshi. Toshi was caught off guard, which let Izuku tackle him to the ground. Izuku was laughing so hard as he rolled onto the floor next to Toshi. Why did you just turn around and run at me? Toshi asked, laughing. I was the one chasing you! Toshi poked Izuku's cheek. Because it caught you off guard, Izuku laughed. Now, do I look hurt, Toshi? Hitoshi turned his head to look look Izuku up and down. He shrugged. You're always hurt, whether it's physically or mentally. And I can tell you are hurt. Ow! Toshi yelped as Izuku pinched his arm. What was that for? What was that for? For trying to say I'm always hurt, Izuku said, sitting up with his arms crossed as he looked down at Hitoshi. It's not like I'm lying, Toshi countered, looking Izuku in the eyes. Whether you're physically hurt or not, you always think about the things people say to you. All the lies they tell you. It's not like I believe them, Izuku said, forgetting that a razor head and present mic were in the room. I may dwell on the words they say, but I never believe what they tell me. I don't care about their opinions. The only only opinion I care about is yours, Izuku smiled as he poked Toshi's nose. Okay, okay, Toshi said, putting his hands up placatingly. Is this really what you do all the time? A voice asked from behind Izuku. Izuku yelped, doing a somersault and turning to look at the spot he heard the voice. Whoa, Izu, are you okay? Toshi asked, concerned as he looked at Izuku. Yoichi? Izuku asked, confused at why he was here. Who? Present Mike asked, looking at Izuku concerned. Oh, um, he's talking to ghosts, or one ghost as of right now, Toshi supplies, supplied for the adults. It's a long story, and it's best not to get into it right now. 
Why are you here, Yoichi? Izuku asked, locking, locking eyes with his uncle. Can I not visit my favorite nephew? Yoichi asked, tilting his tilting his head as if he were a cat. By you saying favorite nephew, you imply I have a brother, Izuku said, trying to be smart with Yoichi. Yeah, because you do have a brother, Yoichi said, an underlying serious tone to his voice. Can we unpack that later? Izuku asked, sighing. Yeah, Yoichi said, giving Izuku a small smile. Anyways, why are you here? Izuku asked again. Because the users are the other users are boring and ouch Yoichi said as Kudo appeared and smacked him in the back of the head. We weren't being boring, Kudo said, looking at Izuku. He's just mad he lost in the Uno game in the game of Uno we were playing. I am not, Yoichi argued, but Izuku didn't let them continue their petty argument. You guys played Uno without me? he asked in mock offense. Toshi rolled onto the floor laughing. Again. Present Mike was stifling a laugh, and Eraserhead looked so done with his shit. Yes, we did, Yoichi said, a proud smile on his face. Why? Izuku asked, still offended he wasn't invited. Because Yoichi didn't want to invite you, Bonjo said, appearing on the opposite side of Yoichi. What? Why did he want to invite me? Izuku asked, tilting his head in confusion. Because you beat him in the last game we all played and he's still salty about it, En said, appearing next to Kudo. Are you really holding a grudge over a game of Uno? Izuku asked his uncle, a deadpan look on his usually bright face. No, Yoichi said, arms crossed over his chest and face turned away from Izuku. You're just mad that I'm better at Uno than you are, Izuku said, Izuku said smiling. Yoichi let out an offended gasp. You did not just say that, Yoichi said, offended that Izuku would speak the truth. I'm not a liar, Izuku said, smirking. Toshi started laughing even harder, even though he could only hear one side of the conversation. I could beat your ass in Uno right now, Yoichi declared. Bet, Izuku said, whipping out a box of Uno cards. I'll make you... I'll make you solid for the duration of our game. Also, if I win... You have to go haunt your brother. If you win, you can go haunt Yagi. Okay, Yoichi said, sitting down on the floor with Izuku. Izuku snapped his fingers to reveal a solid Yoichi. Everyone, this is my uncle Yoichi, Izuku said as he opened the box of Uno cards and started shuffling the deck. Bonjo, where are Nana and Bruce? They didn't feel like coming after Yoichi, Bonjo explained. Want me to go get them? Yes, I want them to watch me absolutely dominate Yoichi in this game, Izuku said, starting to deal the cards. Okay, Bonjo said, disappearing into thin air as he left to get his grandma and Bruce. After a very intense game of Uno, Izuku won. The kids seemed to be really good at predicting what color cards his uncle had, since he was always able to change the color to a color his uncle either didn't want or didn't have. Fuck! Yoichi yelled, falling backwards onto the floor after Izuku put down his last card. I don't want to haunt Hizashi. Well, that's too bad, Izuku said, pulling Yoichi off of the floor and back into a sitting position. You agreed to haunt him if you lost, and you lost, so you have to haunt him. Ugh, fine, Yoichi said, begrudgingly. How long do I have to haunt him? At least 24 hours. But if you end up wanting to haunt him for longer, you can, Izuku said, smirking. You do realize I'm not just asking you to watch him, right? I'm asking you to mess with him, make him think that someone's in his place, play around with his stuff, make him mad. Yoichi gasped, gasped. Looks like he didn't think about what Izuku said. Okay, that's fun, Yoichi said, standing up quickly. Mm-hmm. Izuku said, nodding. You're welcome. Now, please leave. Okay, Yoichi said as he snapped his fingers, as Izuku snapped his fingers to make him disappear. After a few seconds of silence, Shota asked, Are they gone? Hmm? Oh, yeah, they left, Izuku said, giving him a smile. So, um, who were they? 
Hizashi asked, looking at Izuku curiously. Oh, right, um, I think it would be better if you guys sit down for this, Izuku said, rubbing the back of his neck. Okay. Okay, Shota said, already making his way to the couch. Everyone else followed. Once they were all seated, Izuku started explaining. Okay, so those ghosts are called the Vestiges of One for All. And before you ask what One for All is, I'll tell you. Uh, I can't really say much about it since I'm not even supposed to know what it is. But to put it simply, it's a quirk that's been passed down for generations. My uncle, Yoichi, was the first user. The others are Kudo, the second user, Bruce, the third user, Hikage, the fourth user, Bonjo, the fifth user, and the sixth user, and Nana, the seventh user. There's an eighth user, but I don't really want to reveal his secrets by telling you who he is, so I'm not going to say his name. Why can you see the why can you see these vestiges? Shota asked, curious as to why this boy was chosen to see these people. Well, apparently I'm supposed to be the destined ninth u- ninth user. Yoichi said it was because they were all so bored just sitting in the void of the 8th user's headscape that they decided to come haunt me, but I'm pretty sure they came to check on me after my dad killed my mom and left me, Izuku said nonchalantly. Your dad killed your mom? Hizashi asked, surprised just like Shota. Yeah, um, I guess I should tell you about that too, Izuku said, rubbing the back of his neck. Okay, that's the end of this chapter. Um... (laughs) Izuku's like, huh, I guess I should tell you about that. Hmm, I didn't think about that, huh? <laughs> I really like that. Um, But, like, this is, like, my favorite chapter so far. Well, one of my favorites. I like the others, but this one is really funny. The Uno! The Uno! <laughs> I'm gonna make the vestiges appear more in this, so be ready for that. Um, I'm gonna try and write more fanfiction, and, like, literally, I'm gonna try and write- I'm gonna start another fanfic, y'all! I have, like, five other fanfic ideas in my head right now that I haven't even started writing down. They're just festering in my brain. But I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna write one today. And I might actually podfic it in a bit. Actually, it's, like, 10 p.m., <laughs> I don't think I'll have enough time to pod fig it if I finish it. Mm, we'll see. I might stay up till 1 a.m. Do I have somewhere to be tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I care? No. No, I do not. I might stay up till 1 a.m. We'll see. I can run on like three hours of sleep. It's fine. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah. So I might pod fig, um, the perfect birthday, which I updated also the other day um also costume critiques chapter four i think it is right three or four what is it chapter three will be out soon um i had already started it when i posted the first two but i like didn't finish it like (sighs) you, you guys will see um but i'm really excited for that one to come out um I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, I need to podfic Frozen Heart Thawed, that chapter that I posted. Literally, the night, the, like, right after I finished podficking, I edited it and added another chapter. So, that's my fault. That's my fault, y'all. My fault. Um. Also, the perfect birthday chapter, um, chapter 13, it's, um, it's kind of short because I'm getting to the end of that one. Like, guys, I actually almost finished my first fanfic. Like, this was my first fanfic that I started with, and I'm almost done with it. So, I feel accomplished. Also, really quick, I'm gonna yap about something else that has nothing to do with fanfiction. Um, today, today, I moved a bookcase that was in my living room into my room because I got more books today. I got, like, 19 new books so that was fun and I like organized my books and stuff and I read for like two hours and I got the rest of my Hero Academia manga so I'm very happy like not all the manga's out yet but like 
all the manga that's out that you don't need to pre-order, I have. I have all the... Oh, I have all 39 volumes. And I have the analysis. I need the other series, though. I really want to finish the Vigilante series. I read the first book. Mm. But I'm broke, so I can't. Well, anyways... I'm going to shut up now. Um, if you made it this far in the video, though, um, please, please, please comment down a green heart or, or a purple heart or a black or yellow heart. Any, any of those color, any color that basically signifies Hitoshi, Izuku, Aizawa, Hizashi, and Yoichi. And Kudo, <laughs> because we love them. I love Kudo and, and Yoichi, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, bye!